Let's go to work together 12-4. Step one, prepare Judy's Fashion's general account check for the pay period July 15th, 2020. The payment date is July 15th. Prepare the check to the order of First Community Bank. The payroll account is listed there and you will enter manager signature on the check in the appropriate field for the signature. Okay, so you will use the information here because that is our total net pay. Remember, we are writing out one check to the general fund and from that general fund, then we will be issuing checks, payroll checks. Okay, so the date the 7, 15, and again that comes from right there. The payee is First Community Bank, that is who we're writing the check out to. Description is July 15th payroll, and the amount is for the net pay from our payroll register that gets put right down there. Okay, so we wrote out this, the stub or the voucher form. Next, we are going down to the check to write out the check. And remember, that is going to our general account fund. Okay, so the date, 7, 15. The amount in numbers. And again, that's coming from there. Then you will write the amount in words. And then pay to the order of First Community Bank. Payroll account number is listed up there. And then the address of the bank. And the last step is to sign it, and it tells you to use, I don't have it on there, but you will use, it says, the manager's signature. Okay, moving on to part two is a little bit lengthier. It says it's a payroll check for E. Johnson. Complete the payroll check for Edward P. Johnson for the pay period ended July 15th. The payment date is July 15th. Enter the check in the appropriate field for the signature. Record the payroll check in the payroll register. Okay, so we have the information here. We take a look at that. We have this right here is let me just go back here. Okay. So this part here is last paycheck. This is a stub for this pay period. This is the check for this pay period. And down here you'll see the payroll register. And that's the information. We'll use this information. The first check we're writing out to is Edward. Right there. Okay. So let's go up to the top here. You can see that his pay is listed right here. So we will take that information. I have to keep scrolling up and down, but you can follow along there. And we will write the gross pay, the overtime pay. You can see that's from there. And the total pay. Okay, so those three items right here, here, and here come from here, here, and here. Okay, so then we're going to use our year to date. So we're going to take our total earnings of $1,432.50 plus the previous early earnings, 
$1,718. $1,718. And that amount goes right there. So when you add those two together, you come up with the year-to-date earnings of that. Okay, so you're just adding it to the previous. Then we are going to take, I forgot to do this, sorry. I'm going to go back here because I did not fill in the employee and the date. So again, this is just what I filled in, this and this. Okay, so now we're on to our deductions. We're going to do the current ones. The current deductions come from our payroll register, and they are right here. This is what we're going to transfer up to that amount or that spot. Okay, so let's go up there, and we will transfer those numbers from your payroll register and the total and the net pay. Okay, then to figure out the year to date, Okay, so here is what we paid this pay period. This is what we paid last pay period. When we add those two together, we come up with that number. Okay, Social Security, we take $88.82 plus $1,067.52, and we come up with $1,156.34. Then we will take Medicare of 2077 plus year to date, date, how much we've paid in so far. You add those two together and we come up with $270.43. Okay, our next, take our health insurance, what we've paid for health insurance before. We add those two together and we come up with $780. We'll take our retirement, what we've paid for retirement before, and it's $195. And we'll do the same thing with our totals, our total year plus this one equals that. Our net pay, this is our net pay. This is our net pay for this fiscal period, or for this pay period. We will add it to our year-to-date pay period, and we'll come up to that. And so that's what the check stub would look like. Now we're ready to write out the check. Okay, so we're going to go the date, July 15th, paid to the order of Edward P. Johnson, the amount, $1,186, and 91 cents. And again, that comes from the net pay. And that's also right up here, both spots. Okay, write out the amount in words and sign it. Then you will go down, you'll see that this is check number 261. You go down into your payroll register. And you would write 261 in your payroll register, right down here. And then you can go on and do it for the next employee.